So I'm Steve Rosenberg. I'm chief of the surgery branch at the National Cancer Institute here in Bethesda, Maryland. Every patient that I take care of here at the National Cancer Institute has been through all standard treatment uh, and uh, has progressive cancer and a very limited life expectancy. And so it's the treatment of those patients who are desperate to try to solve their cancer problem that uh, involves virtually all of our work. When I was young, uh, the uh, war just ended. I heard about the Holocaust and how many of my relatives had died. Uh, innocent people who had no control over what they did. And I, I see cancer as a Holocaust. Uh, and from a very early age, I decided I want to do something to help people. And there's no greater stimulus to work hard, uh, to try to do your best than daily seeing cancer patients. I make rounds every day. Uh, to talk to patients who are receiving our experimental treatments. They're desperate to, uh, to live uh, and reasonable quality of life. And, and so it's a constant stimulus to, to work hard and make progress. And that's what's kept me doing this for the last 49 years that I've been the chief of the surgery branch of the National Cancer Institute. Well, cancer is, a, is an extraordinarily complex disease. When I started doing this work, there were only three ways to treat cancer, surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. And there have been constant improvements over the last 50 years in each of those treatments. But despite that, there are virtually no treatments that are curative for patients that have cancer once it has spread. And despite the best application of those three treatments, over 600,000 Americans die of cancer every year. And so I've spent the last 49 years uh, working here at the NIH trying to develop a fourth approach to treat cancer. And that is immunotherapy, a type of cancer that takes advantage of the body's own natural immune systems to fight the cancer. The immune system recognizes the cancer as foreign, but not foreign enough to destroy it. And the goal of immunotherapy is to take advantage of those immune responses so that the body itself can, can cure the disease. In fact, there are many patients that have been cured now by immunotherapy. Over half of patients that have a disease called metastatic melanoma can have good responses. About a quarter can be cured of their metastatic disease. The solid cancers, the solid epithelial cancers that are the common cancers all the way from the rectum through the stomach, the pancreas, the esophagus, the prostate, the ovary. Uh, when these diseases develop metastatic properties, that is they spread from the local site, uh, they're largely incurable by standard treatments. And yet we've had some good cures in those now applying uh, immunotherapy. So. We're trying to increase our ability to successfully treat patients who do not have standard therapies available. You need to know a lot of facts. And so, uh, because you can't, as you might in physics, go from first principles about how subatomic particles interact and come up with reasonable explanations. In biology, you just need to know a lot and you need to be able to deal with failure because as you're trying to deal with uh, a very complex biologic problem, especially when you see patients that you treat with that have cancer that go on to progress and you've failed what you've tried to, or you've tried to do, you need to keep your focus and enthusiasm. Uh, I think with Abraham Lincoln, although it's not clear, it's been sometimes attributed to Winston Churchill, who's, who defines success as moving from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. And I think that's very important because taking care of patients with cancer, most of whom will not respond to what you do, most of whom will go on to die of their disease despite your best efforts, uh, can sometimes make it difficult to keep uh, to keep going 
uh, at a high pace. But people that can do that are the people that will make progress.